Hello. In this session, we're going to learn how to connect to a MySQL database with Java. Before we get started, there's some prep work that needs to take place. One is that you need to have a MySQL database already installed. If not, you can download one from the site listed here on the slide. Next, we'll need to download and install a MySQL JDBC driver. This driver will allow the Java program to connect to the database, and you can download it from this URL, and I'll do that now. So I'll just take this URL, drop it into my favorite browser, and here I am, here I am at the page. Um, on this page, this is for downloading the Connector.j browser. I'll select the platform, Platform Independent. And I'll move down, and I'll select Download, and it'll download a zip archive. Make sure you download the most recent version. In this case, it's 5129. Make sure you download something at that version or later. Download. Scroll down, select No Thanks, just start my download. And this will start downloading the file for you. And then what we can do is we can show it in the finder. Okay. I'll double click it to extract it. And at this point, I have uh, the driver extracted. And there's a file in here called mysqlconnector.jar that we'll use um, later. Okay. Next, what I need to do is create a Java project in Eclipse. Okay. So let's do that. So in Eclipse. I'll say, I'll say file, new, Java project. This will be JDBC demo. And I will select finish. And what I'll do is I will add a new class. So new class. This will be my driver, and it will have a public static void main region. Okay. And so at this point, we have a shell uh, for our project created. Next, what we'll do is we'll walk through the actual development process. And I really like this slide because it outlines exactly what we need to do. The first thing we'll do is add the database driver to the class path. Next, we'll get a connection. We'll submit a SQL query, and then we'll process the result set. So let's start with step one, adding a MySQL database driver to the class path. In our Eclipse project, I'm going to add a new folder called lib. Lib for library. And in this lib folder, I'm going to add the driver that I downloaded earlier. So what I'll do is I'll just grab this driver. So it's the MySQL connector bin.jar. I'll just drag and drop it to this lib folder. It'll prompt me. I'll say, go ahead and copy the file. And then next I need to add the um, jar file, the driver, to the class path. So I set this up with properties. Choose Java build path. And then I'll choose add jars. Expand this folder, that lib, I'll grab that jar file, and I'll have it set up. Okay, great. So now we can start coding. Okay, so we need to uh, get a connection, submit a SQL query, and process a result set. Okay, so let me just sketch this out on a slide over here. And the first thing I'll do up top is I'll just do an import on java.sql.star because all of the, um, all of the uh, classes and interfaces that we need are in this package. And I'll also just set up a try-catch block just to handle for any exceptions that may occur. Okay, small typo there. Okay. So <clears throat> inside of this section, I'm going to first um, get a connection to the database. Then next, I will create a statement. 
And then from here, I will execute a SQL query. And then I will process the result set. Okay. So that's my basic game plan. So let's fill it in with some real code. So here I'll say connection, my con equals driver manager dot get connection. And I'll give the JDBC colon my SQL colon localhost 3306 demo student student. So student is the user ID and student is also the password. Okay. All right, now let me digress for one second here. So we're connecting to a database called, uh, it's on localhost demo. So on my um, system, I already have MySQL installed. I'm using the MySQL workbench that allows me to query or look at the actual database. So I have a database out here called demo, okay? And I have a table called employees. And this employees table has three columns. So it has a column for the ID, the last name, first name, and the email address for that employee. Okay, so I'm gonna wanna do something very similar here um, in my actual Java code, right? So the big thing is that I have a database called demo and a table called employees, okay? So that gives me the portion here of connecting to this database demo and then now I can go ahead and start writing some of my SQL statements. So first off, I'll start with statement. My statement equals my con dot create statement. Okay. And then I execute the SQL query. So I'll say result set. My RS equals my statement dot execute. Query, select star from employees. Next, I'll process the result set. So while myrs.next, then I'll say system out.printline, and I will print line myrs. I get string, so I'm going to re retrieve the person's last name. Okay, and then I'll also say I'll append this with myrs.get string first name. Okay, and I'll continue the loop, and then that's pretty much it as far as the actual coding. Okay, now let's try and run this application and see how things work out for us. So over here, I'll just right click and I'll say run as Java application. And then note the output here, John Doe, Mary Public, Susan Q. And if we look at our database, same values occur. So we are successful in connecting to a MySQL database with Java. Okay. So that's it. Thank you for watching the presentation and you can visit lovetoco.com for more tutorials.